Welcome back to Let's Read Judge Dredd. Today's episode is Curse of the Spider Woman, and uh, possibly Curse of the 80s fashion sense, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, let's get into this. Friday, our 12th anniversary, the day started with a knock at the door. Citizen Eleanor, Eleanor Groth. Y yes? I was so afraid, I ran through my memory trying to remember what... I'd done. I, I needn't have worried. John, I've just won first prize in the Justice Department's essay uh, competition. Ten reasons for informing on a close friend. Oh, thank goodness! When I saw you, when I saw the saw you, Judge, I thought, take it from me, a model citizen like your wife needn't fear anything from us, sir. After such a good start, I was sure it, would, it was going to be a happy day. We took the girls and drove to Centura Park. It's, been, it's years since we've uh, been there. Thirteen, in fact. Ever since our first date, John and me. And, of course, it's a split page, so I have to good, keep going back and forth. <coughs> we stayed until after dark, till the lights... Till the lights came on and it was so romantic, just like our first date again. Oh, John, Eleanor, it's just like the first time we kissed. Do you remember, John? Yes. Only then it was me. Only then it was me who needed the shave. Only then it was me who needed the shave? What the hell? Eleanor, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that to sound. Please don't cry. I'm sorry. I know. It's, it's all right. But he'd spoiled it for me. All at once, all I could see was people staring at me, pointing me out. Look at that woman. She's all covered with hair. She's a freak. Please, I, I want to go home. I'll get the girls. Look, if it was what I said, I won't... I'm doing an English accent, not the right accent. Look, if it was what I said... I want you to forget it, okay? I'm such a fool sometimes. No, it's not that. I'm just tired. I've had such a good day. I don't blame John. He's good at heart, and he knows. And, and I know he can't, really cares. He just can't resist a joke when he sees one. So you get a little excess hair. So what? Good grud. How can you say a little? It's growing all over me, John. Look at my hands, my arms. I used the dilapidary cream this morning, and it's coming back worse than ever. It's not natural. Oh, it's probably just the old hormones. It's probably just old hormones. Play it up. Old... Probably will sort you out course of pills or something. Come on to bed. I just wish he'd realize how worried I am. Monday, 21st. 3 o'clock appointment with Dr. Pryor. Pryor is coming with me. Oh, John is coming with me. So I'm so afraid I have a dreadful feeling this problem is bigger than all of us and somehow it's going to destroy us. Uh, the cream's not working, doctor. Yes, I can see that. The tests have come back. I'm, I'm afraid it's quite serious, Eleanor. It's viral. The arachnid gene virus, to be exact. It's quite rare. We've had only three cases in the past five years. 
don't tell me she's going to have to go to electrolysis. I'm afraid that's not as simple as that. You see, AGV attacks the genes themselves, taking them over, as it were, making them into identical copies of itself. The a, uh, genetic virus, the genetic structure of the virus most closely resembles is that of an arachnid. Arachnid? Spider. I've arranged an appointment with Professor Dalma at the uh, IRD clinic. Uh, he, take Eleanor there right away. No, oh, I knew it. Oh, Rod, what are we going to do? Ah, come on, honey. It's not that bad. Not that bad. I'm turning into a spider. Look at my fingers. Have you noticed them? They're joining up. They're turning into a claw, John. Best Dalba's the uh, guy. Best in the field, Pryor said. He'll, he, ought to, he ought to be for the price. He'll know what to do. What if he doesn't? Then we'll try every specialist in the city. It'll cost an arm and a leg. Uh, still, look on the bright side. If it does, you can always grow some uh, new ones. You swine. Gee, honey, sorry. That was thoughtless. Please forgive me. Don't talk to me. The only cure to lo is to locate the virus, whatever it is, wherever it has taken root, and burn it out. The individual, vi the, the invading virus is picked out in red on the ultra scan here. You can see that it's entered every vital organ. If you'd got to us early enough, we could have done something, but now to operate, we'd certainly kill the patient. But, uh, but there must be something we could do. I can't just sit around and watch my wife get into a spider. I'm sorry, There's this is a terrible tragedy to have befallen you, but you must be strong. The rate of progression accelerates as AR, AGV takes at a grip. In a week or two, she'll cease to exist as anything except anything that is recognizable as your wife. But at least by then, her suffering will be over. Her mind will no longer be hers. Thankfully, provided, thankfully, provided popular, proper, uh, blah, 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 blah. Thankfully, provided proper precautions, not only are there not only are taken, the disease is not contagious. You'll be able to be with her to the end. After that, if you wish, I can arrange to have her painlessly put, painlessly uh, uh, put down. No. Wednesday. I can't believe this is happening to me, to us. Only a few days ago, we were happy. John's portfolio was going up and up. The children were doing so well at school. I'd won the good citizenship diploma. Now I could barely hold a pen to write. The children stare at me like I'm some kind of monster. I'm dying, turning into a spider, and nobody can do anything to help me. How could things possibly turned out worse. Rap, rap, rap. Citizen Groth, it's come to our notice that you are suffering from incurable AGV. They, they told you? It's mandatory. You realize, of course, that this classifies as a genetic abnormality under, stri under the strict terms of Mutant Segregation Act. As such, it's my sad duty to serve this <clears throat> or ex exiling you from the uh, boundaries of Mega City One. More next program. Lovely. Well, I can't wait. We'll see you again next time for some more judges being bastards. Until then, thanks for watching.